गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी वर डूइंग एक्सरसाइज थ्री पॉइंट वन वी हैव डिस्कस सम रूल्स एंड देन वी हैव सोल्ड फर्स्ट फाइव क्वेश्चन एंड आई होप यू आर डूइंग ऑल द क्वेश्चन इन द फेयर नोटबुक एज वेल एज यू आर डूइंग प्रैक्टिस ऑल्सो ओके नाउ देर इज क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स इज ए पार्ट इज हंड्रेड एज द सम ऑफ टेन नेचुरल नंबर्स यू हैव टू एक्सप्रेस यू हैव टू राइट डाउन हंड्रेड दिस इज अ स्टेटमेंट गिवन ओके स्टेटमेंट इज गिवन टू यू एंड यू हैव टू राइट डाउन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ नंबर्स ओके हंड्रेड एज द सम ऑफ टेन नेचुरल नंबर्स ओके नाउ जस्ट सी हेयर द सोल्यूशन इज यू हैव टू राइट इन दिस वे as we know n square is equal to sum of first n natural numbers okay we have discussed in the previous lecture that first n odd natural numbers are always equal to n square okay so i am writing that line again you have to write in this way as we know n square is equal to sum of first n odd natural numbers okay therefore 100 is equal to 10 square Hundred is given in the statement right here. Hundred, okay. Hundred is a ten square. You know very well. Ten square is a hundred. Okay, is equal to write down sum of so ten square means you have to write down this statement in the form of numbers. So write down a statement here. Is it, it is equal to sum of first ten odd natural numbers in place of n. Now write down your n is ten. So in place of n, write down ten. Sum of first ten odd natural numbers. Okay, so you have write down that series. I told this series in the previous lecture. Okay, the series is you have to add all the odd natural numbers in the series. Okay, in the ascending order. Okay, so you have to uh, uh, write down only first ten. Okay, so one plus three plus five plus seven plus nine plus eleven plus thirteen. Plus fifteen, plus seventeen, plus nineteen. Y plus is there in between because sum. Okay, you write down sum. Okay, and count these are the ten numbers only. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so you have to express this hundred as sum of first natural numbers in this way. Okay, so this is a if if you will calculate it. If you will add all these numbers, no, your answer will be hundred. Okay, and these are first ten odd natural numbers. Okay, so in this way you have to express this question. This is your A part. Similarly, we are doing B part. The question of B part is six twenty five as the sum of twenty five natural numbers. Okay, write down in the same manner as we know. n square is equal to sum of first n odd natural numbers okay now therefore 625 625 it is equal to 25 square you know very well 25 square is a 625 okay so write down 25 square so is equal to in place of n now write down 25 rest the statement is as it is sum of first 25 odd natural numbers okay now you have to write down first 25 odd natural numbers okay and you have to add them okay now 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 plus 11 plus 13 plus 15 plus 17 plus 19 up to so on up to 49 okay now when you count all these numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. These are twenty-five numbers, and these are odd numbers. You have to write down all the odd numbers, odd, okay? And these are natural numbers are, which start from one onwards, okay? Which start from one a uh, first one onwards. Okay, and whole numbers are which include zero also in the counting. Okay, so these uh, these are starting from one up to forty nine. Okay, these are odd number, odd natural numbers, and sum means you have to place plus in between them. 
okay so this is the answer of the b part how you can express 625 as 25 odd natural numbers and how you can express 100 as 10 natural numbers <clears throat> 10 odd natural numbers clear so this is your question number sixth okay and i hope you all are doing the practice and you have to do this question all these questions in the fair notebook clear okay now we are moving to question number seventh question number seventh is find the squares of the following numbers it is very very simple you just have to find out the squares okay square means you have to multiply that number two times okay now see a part is 25 so find out the square squares means 25 multiply by 25 okay you have to multiply please if you, uh, you if you have learned till 20 or 30 all the squares that should be on your tips okay but beyond that you have to multiply all the numbers very carefully sometimes the students are doing mistakes in simple multiplication simple division okay 25 into 25 it is equal to 625 that is your answer okay next is 34 so squares is equal to 34 into 34 1156 next is 312 it is equal to 312 multiplied by 312 that is equal to 97344 okay 2.3 squares is equal to 2.3 multiplied by 2.3 that is equal to 5.29 you just have to multiply 23 and 23 and now check it out before 1 and before 1 means before 2 digits you have to place decimal so before 2 digits you have to place decimal okay now next last is squares of 16.5 is multiply 16.5 into 16.5 it is equal to 272.25 it means before 1 and before 1 means before 2 digits you have to place decimal so before 2 digits you have to place decimal okay so please multiply you there is no need to show the multiplication okay uh, that multiplication you have to do on the right hand side in your uh, rough work okay so please do all these questions very carefully question is simple find out the squares okay but sometime you are doing mistakes in the multiplication okay so this is a question number seventh all the parts we have discussed okay now we are moving to question number eight question number eight is how many known perfect square numbers lie between the squares of 15 and 16 okay so now uh, before I'll move to question number 8th and 9th, okay, I'm discussing uh, some rules with you. Uh, in the previous lecture, we have discussed five rules, okay. So, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll revise all these rules once again in the coming lectures, okay. Now, the sixth rule I'm going to discuss with you because this question number 8th and 9th are based upon some concept okay so i'm telling you some rules if there are two non-perfect square numbers n and n plus one is there suppose there are two numbers n and n plus one n and n plus one means any number one is first number is n nine and next next number is add plus one in that number nine plus one means ten okay so these are two numbers okay so you have to find out the non-perfect square how many non perfect square lie in between these two numbers so what you have to do there is a formula 2n you have to multiply n with 2 and then find out and then you can write down that number is the non perfect square lie between 9 and 18 okay so this means suppose here uh, i am taking one example 9 and 10 okay so here 9 is your n and 10 is your n plus 1 okay n plus 1 means when you add 9 plus 1 it will become 10 so we are having two numbers okay now non perfect square means you, there is a formula 2n you have to multiply 2 with n n is your 9 so multiply 2 with 9 it is equal to 18 so in this way you can write down that 18 non perfect squares lie between 9 and 10 18 non perfect squares lie between 9 and 10 
okay now i'm moving to question number eight question number eight is how many known perfect squares numbers lie between squares of 15 and 16 okay now see question number eight is here's a question number eight so question number eight is how many known perfect squares lie between squares of 15 and 16 okay so you have to write in this way two consecutive natural numbers are consecutive means first one is this and next number is this okay 15 and 16 here n is your 15 and n plus 1 is, is your 16 clear n is your 15 and n plus 1 is your 16 okay so known perfect square between 15 and 16 is equal to there's a formula 2n so write down 2n 2 multiplied by n is your 15 so 2 multiplied by 15 is equal to 30 okay so that means there are 30 known perfect square lie between 15 and 16 clear this is your answer that's it clear okay now next question is find the pythagorean triplet uh, whose one member is 15 find the pythagorean triplet whose one member is 15 okay so i am telling you first of all that uh, a pythagorean triplet is what is a pythagorean triplet right now i have discussed rule number six now i'm going to discuss rule number seventh okay Pythagorean triplet always lie between a right angle triangle okay we are having right angle triangle you know very well in a right angle triangle this is your base this is your perpendicular this is your hypotenuse okay now in the Pythagorean triplet you have to consider three sides of a right angle triangle okay three sides are one is your 2m next side is your m square minus 1 next side is your m square plus 1 okay 2m next is m square minus 1 next is m square plus 1 okay so this these three uh, these three uh, terms are known as pythagorean triplet okay these three terms are known as pythagorean triplet clear now let's move to question number ninth find the pythagorean triplet whose one member is 15 so you have to write down first of all in this way pythagorean triplets are 2m comma m square minus 1 comma m square plus 1 okay these three are the pythagorean triplet you have to learn it 2m next is m square minus 1 next is m square plus 1 okay now look here now I'm going to discuss very very main step very very main thing with you okay you have to see first of all what is the member given to you in the question here it is given 15 you have to check it out first of all whether this number is a multiple of 2 or not if this number is a multiple of 2 then you have to equate this number with the first value if this number suppose this number is 8 or 10 then you have to equate 2m is equal to 10 okay now this number is 15 it is not a multiple of 2 then you have to equate this value with this or this with this term or this term okay if you are comparing with this num uh, with this term you with these two term also now you have to check it out whether it is uh, answer is coming a square or not okay now I'll tell you now this member is 15 okay so this is not a multiple of 2 so I will not equate 15 with 2m I will equate 15 with m square minus 1 m square minus 1 okay now look here m square minus 1 is equal to 15 m square is equal to 1 will go this side 15 plus 1 it is equal to 16 it is equal to 16 so m square means 16 uh, you know very well the next step is next step is find out m is equal to square root of 16 square root of 16 is 4 m is equal to 4 okay square should be there okay the number which is coming on right side it should be a square okay now 
suppose if i'll compare this value with this uh, term m square plus 1 it is equal to 15 okay now what uh, should i write in the left hand side m square it is equal to 15 minus 1 m square it is equal to 15 minus 1 is 14 if 14 is a square of any value no 14 is not a square of any value okay that's why we will not compare this value with this term we will not compare this is wrong okay the value which is coming on right side that should be a square of any value okay now look here I, when i have compared with this term okay the value which is coming on right side that is the square of any value 16 was coming so we know very well 16 is a square of 4 4 4 16 so your m is 4 m is 4 now put your m in all these three put the value of m in all these three terms okay so first number is first number is 2m okay so 2 multiplied by 4 m is 4 it is equal to 8 okay now next is second number is m square minus 1 so put the value m m value is 4 and 4 square minus 1 that is equal to 16 minus 1 it is equal to 15 okay now third num number is m square plus 1 4 square plus 1 16 plus 1 17 okay so therefore pythagorean triplets are 8 15 and 17 clear so these are the pythagorean triplets clear all of you you have to find out three triplets that is a pythagorean triplet first of all you have to find out the value of m okay value of m and then put the value of m in all these three terms first term second term third term and then find out three numbers okay first of all you have to check it out it this number is a square uh, this number is a multiple of two or not if it is a multiple of two then you have to compare this term with this term okay if it is not a multiple of two suppose 15 is not a multiple of two then you have to compare with this or this term in these two terms also you have to check it out something that right side is a square of any value okay then when you are having a value of m then put the value of m in all these three terms and find out the three numbers and these three numbers are known as pythagorean triplet clear this is your question number ninth okay last question is you fill in the blanks you have to do this fill in the blanks by on okay read out and find out the answers okay find out the answer of all the blanks what answer will come here in this blanks okay this is very simple we have discussed all these things in the chapter in the exercise okay so i'm giving you 10th question for your homework purpose okay so there was uh, 10 question there were 10 question in this exercise and we have discussed all the questions so today your homework is you have to do you have to revise all the rules okay all the rules till now we have discussed and you have to do all these first 10 questions in the fair notebook you have to do first nine question okay 10th question you have to do in the book in the next class we'll discuss all these answers of the fill in the blanks and then we'll proceed to the next exercise 3.2 okay so till the time bye bye take care